My name is Patrick Burgle, and my great-grandfather's name is Sir Ernest Shackleton. My great-grandfather's dream was to be the first to cross the Antarctic, but tragedy struck soon. Shackleton's ship was trapped in pack ice within a month of arrival. At that point, his mission changed from completing the journey to basic survival. He gave up the crossing, instead doing everything he could to save his 27 crew members. My name is Tim Freight. I'm the great-great-nephew of Frank Wilde, who was the only man to have taken part in all of Shackleton's expeditions. I am the great-great-granddaughter of John Vincent. And um, had, it not, had they not come back, obviously, we wouldn't be here now. Well, if he didn't get back, I wouldn't be here, so I'm very proud of what he'd done. This marks the hundredth year since my great-grandfather succeeded in saving his crew, and in so doing, gave up his dream. At long last, carrying with me the names of his men and messages from their descendants, I'm going to try to fulfill my great-grandfather's dream. Up. Yep, it's good as new. Roger, T How much harder would this have been a hundred years ago? No roads, no people, no night, surrounded by nothingness. I journeyed across Antarctica for 30 days. Finally, I reached the place my great-grandfather dreamt of a hundred years ago. To my great-grandfather, I'm here at last. I came with your crew and their descendants. I think it's fantastic that a uh, hundred years on, the expedition is able to be completed. Thank you very much for taking my grandfather on board your ship and creating such an adventure. I would say that um, his spirit is eternal, it lives on, that's why we're all here. Shackleton's expedition did not fail. It just took a hundred years to complete. <laughs> <laughs>